everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Nia and this is Vidrel Reads <laughs> what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a very simple uh, July haul I figured that would be a good way to ease into making book content again so uh, we're going to talk about the books that I bought this month <laughs> quick caveat I don't usually buy physical books that's usually why I have like inserts and stuff is because especially when I was living in Ukraine uh, books are expensive <laughs> and I was a Peace Corps volunteer so I didn't really have the cash money you know um, and also because I knew I had to move so now that I'm here back in America um, I still mostly read uh, books on my Kindle but I also you know I now have an amazing library so I've been borrowing books from the library a lot um, because I don't really like to buy books that I don't think I'm going to love um, so when I buy books it means like I know that they're going to be amazing and I know that I'm going to love them. Um, it's usually why I love, like, this is usually why I buy them. So, um, I bought some books that I want to talk about and I'm really excited to just show you guys um, them. So, let's get into it. The first book, um, so this is actually one of the books that I brought home from Ukraine. It is The Children of Blood and Bone. Um, but, so I brought this home from Ukraine. I absolutely loved it, adored it. It was amazing, <laughs> amazing, loved it. So I already had this, but I actually picked up the second book in the series, which makes me really excited. So um, one of the reasons why I love this series is because it has a lot of influence from West African um, culture tied into the series which I find absolutely amazing and when I read the first one it was one of the first books that I've ever read that I don't ever remember reading a single white character in here um there might have been and I might have just over, like looked over it but um I'm really excited because this series was amazing I really liked the magic system in here I like the world building and like I said I really liked that it had a lot of uh West African culture to it um, and that for me was so important because I'm always on the lookout for more uh, fantasy and sci-fi books from uh, different parts of the world and from uh, diverse communities. So I knew I had to pick these up. They look beautiful. Um, like these covers are stunning and I'm so excited to pick up this where this story ends or like where this one ends and this one begins. So I picked up this one, I'm so excited. Hearing the Black Body, The Racial Origins of Fat Phobia by Sabrina Strings. Um, I'm so excited to read this one. Um, this book is interesting because it also, like, it's very intersectional in the sense where it talks about um, fat phobia and racism and how they intertwine and how uh, eugenics played a big role in um, that and how... Um, you know, curviness and bigness and um, fat uh, were labels that were given as, you know, bad and uncivilized, particularly towards members of the black community, so as a way so that white women could really differentiate themselves by being pure and good and thin um, as a way to show that they are uh, more superior. And so, um, I'm really excited to read this. It looks like this cover, whew, it's amazing. And um, I've heard amazing things about this, so I'm really excited uh, to read this. Um, and how I found out about this one was actually from uh, Anti Diet. Um, it looks really weird there, <laughs> uh, but it's Anti Diet um, by Chrissy Harrison. Chrissy Harrison actually has a podcast that I love, it's called Food Psych. And she is a registered dietitian and she um, talks all about like anti-diet and that um, diet culture steals from you and how to reclaim your time, money, well-being and happiness through intuitive eating as well as um, you know rejecting the diet culture mentality and wellness culture and really having a more healthy and um, intuitive relationship with food in particular, but also with movement and your body itself. Um, I'm really excited to read this book. I haven't read all of it yet. I listened to about half of it uh, with the like the audiobook, but then I had to return to my library. So um, 
I just decided to buy it because I wanted to support her and I love her podcast. So I'm really excited to read this in particular um, because I love Chrissy Harrison. Like she is just so transformative. I love her. She's amazing. So listen to the podcast. It's free. It's called Food Psych. And then I'm excited to read this book. Another book that I actually um, brought home from Ukraine with me. I don't know if you can actually see in the on the back but it says 288 Reven. so like that's how much i paid for this book um just to put into perspective of like how expensive that is is you know like a bottle of water like liter of water was like 15 Reven. 188 Reven for a book is expensive um, and then I also had to travel to the capital. So where I was living in my village um, to go to an English language bookstore where I can get English language books, I had to travel all the way to Kiev, which was a 12 hour train ride. Um, and then from there go to the mall where I could buy this. So just to put that in perspective. Um, but yeah, so this is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I bought this while I was in Ukraine, like I said, and I absolutely loved it. I read this throughout my entire travels um, last summer and I fell in love and it's just amazing and beautiful and stunning and lovely. So I finished reading the season or like the series last year, but I picked up her latest book, which is a whoop, she dick, you know, but uh this is the latest book by her and it is lord jesus it's long you know it's uh it is 804 804 pages i've never read a book this big in my entire life anything over 500 intimidates me but i'm so excited to read it because look at this cover you can see how like shiny it is and gorgeous but also I adore her writing like this. The bone season was everything. It was amazing. It was magical. It was so fast paced and so engrossing. I loved it so much. She's one of my favorite authors. I don't see a lot of people hyping up this book, which makes me sad because she's amazing. Um, but it was amazing. So this is great. So I'm excited to read this. Last and not least of the books that I bought this year, or well, this month, <laughs> is um, The Obelisky and The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemsen. Lord Jesus. I don't know who gave her permission to kill me, but she killed me. That's just the truth. The first book in the series, uh, the fifth season, I listened to the audiobook through my library and it was amazing, truly amazing. So I knew that I had to pick up the second and the third book. I realized through making this video that I rarely ever have the first book in a series. Like I have these. But that's it. Like, I have the Harry Potter series and I don't have the first one. Um, I have the Hunger Games series, but I don't have the first one. What is wrong with me? Why do I like this? I don't know. I think usually because I start off with the library and I'm like, oh my god, it's amazing and then I buy it, but then I just never buy the first one. I don't know. Anyone else do that? Or is that just me? Probably just me. Anyway, so these are amazing. It is a science fiction series. Um, which I think is just a really interesting prose because uh, basically how this uh, series comes into play is that um, there is climate change that happens every few years that like completely destroys the world and it takes place not on earth but on like a different world called the stillness and Isun is the main character um, and in the first book she comes home and she finds that her husband has murdered her son um, and kidnapped their daughter and is on the run and so that's happening and then she gets discovered that she is actually um, a different kind of alien um, and they're discriminated against so then that's found out and then the world is ending so all these things are happening at once like literally in the same day which is just like a lot like talk about trauma but 
um so that's happening and it's just an amazing series like she does such a fantastic job truly because it's a diverse series like a lot of the characters are black or brown and that for me is just amazing and then there's also you know themes of lgbtq um polyamorous relationships as well as um they talk a lot about social inequality as well as climate change which i think is such an interesting and amazing thing to intertwine in sci-fi you know because you're creating a world like you can create a utopia if you wanted to you know it might be a little bit difficult for its story but like you could do it if you wanted to but um it was amazing so if you're looking for some grade a sci-fi i highly recommend this Mwah, amazing so that's it those are all the books that i read or not read oh, lord those are all the books that i bought this month um i hope that you really enjoy this video and um that you have a super awesome day so go ahead have a great day for me and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.